This is a trimmed but slower version of the technology year in review from the 2023 HPA Tech Retreat on February 22nd. And a PDF of these slides is available at bit.ly slash tr23 hyphen year. Well, cinema is still not dead. And if you look at the numbers, you can see that still considerably behind 2018 and 2019 in terms of total gross for the year. But if you look at the average per movie, it's actually higher than it was in 2018 and 2019. And with Avatar The Way of Water being the um, movie of 2023, I think we're going to see some pretty high numbers for this year. And speaking of Avatar The Way of Water, here's a post on LinkedIn that talks about how it got to over $2 billion in global box office in just 38 days. Here's another story that a majority of Americans have cut cable for the first time in history. Now, a majority didn't always have cable, but when they got over a majority, uh, they didn't cut cable until now. And it seems that, according to this survey, only 48% of U.S. adults say they still have a monthly cable or satellite TV subscription. And so Comcast wants Internet users to pay more because their customer growth has stalled in cable. Um, seems like a great way to make money, just charge more for everybody. And last year I told you about RBTF in Belgium saying that they might stop broadcasting. They're a broadcaster. Well, CBC in Canada is also saying something like that, although nothing imminent. It'll be quite a while. And here's another survey saying video didn't kill the radio star. Radio is still the number one media reach among U.S. adults in 2022, uh, but TV not far behind that. And here is a story saying that antenna adoption has actually grown among younger viewers. And so people are watching over-the-air television. And it's not just in the U.S. Here's a report saying similar things are happening in Europe with digital terrestrial television. Now, I always talk about the Super Bowl in these technology year and reviews. And here is a story everyone pretty much agrees that um, with 113 million viewers, this was the third most watched TV program ever, not just the third most watched Super Bowl, but the third most watched program. And... Um, down at the bottom, I have some information about streaming, and it seems that streaming has increased, they say, an 18% jump from last year. I think the numbers I had last year were somewhat different, so you might take this with a, a bit of a grain of salt, but still definitely some sort of increase from last year. And here's Nielsen saying that streaming is now up to 34.8% um, of uh, what people are watching, and uh, broadcast just 21.6%, and cable 34.4%, so pretty close to streaming. And digital viewing time is expected to surpass linear TV this year in 2023. Um, but back to the Super Bowl, here is some uh, delay. Now, delay normally isn't a problem whether you watch the Super Bowl instantly or whether it's a few seconds later or 10 seconds later or 30 seconds later, or even a minute later or whatever. Not really a big deal. But with people pushing sports betting, it can be a big deal. And we're seeing that the delay can exceed uh, perhaps uh, even two minutes. Um, so something to be considered. Here is a story in Variety that viewers were outraged over how dark House of the Dragon was, and HBO says it was an intentional creative decision. Well, yeah, a creative decision made in a grading room that was dark with a bright uh, monitor, but that's not necessarily how people are watching at home. And it's not just the pictures. Here's a story in the Wall Street Journal saying, oh, if you can't hear what the actors are saying on TV, it's not you probably. So these are things that need to be addressed. But here's something completely different, the robotic vacuum cleaner market. And why am I putting this up here? Uh, well, it looks like it's 
a great deal of money to be had, uh, but it took some time. Here's the original Roomba from 2002. Uh, so this is 21 years later that we're starting to see those high numbers, but Here's a 1959 Whirlpool robotic vacuum, and it was actually patented in 1957. So some things seem to take a lot of time, and one of them might be 4K. Because again, if we talk about the Super Bowl, uh, Fox shot it not in 4K, but in uh, 1080p or HD, and they upscaled it to 4K. So was it 4K or 4K? And 5G is supposed to be our salvation. On the right, you can see that airlines are urging the FAA to extend the ban on uh, 5G upgrades in the vicinity of airports. And there's a filter that Philips set, sells to reduce 5G interference on your TV. And you can see that the download and upload speeds are not necessarily the extraordinary things that are claimed for 5G. But uh, particularly the one at the bottom is interesting. It's 5G availability percent of the time, and T-Mobile seems to be greater than the other two carriers, um, but only 49.7% of the time is 5G available on T-Mobile. And so uh, Teradex says that if you have mission-critical stuff that you need to transmit, maybe you better use all three of those carriers simultaneously. Here's a story in the Wall Street Journal that Apple's iPhone is starting to have satellite service. And here's another story saying that T-Mobile is planning coverage with SpaceX. But here's a story saying that SpaceX's Starlink is starting to get a lot slower as more people use it. And this seems to be a problem for uh, many of the internet services. And here's a story saying that, well, with all these people using a uh, tremendous amount of uh, wireless products, we're increasing the amount of electromagnetic interference that there can be. Here's a story from the 8K Association, and they are people very much in favor of 8K. And this one is saying that the European Union has denied a review of their energy requirements, which seems to effectively preclude 8K TVs in Europe. And here's another story from them explaining why 8K OLED and QD OLEDs are difficult to make. And again, this is the organization that is in favor of 8K. And finally, there's uh, this person, Veronica Sider, uh, who unfortunately died in 2013. She supposedly had extraordinarily acute vision and uh, was able to see many times uh, greater resolution than normal people could, and so might have been the one person who could make out 8K resolution watching TV from her couch. Here's ATSC 3.0, another hot topic, and here's a story about it, and it says that um, this story will read a lot like the one from last year or maybe even the year before. There just doesn't seem to be a great deal of movement, uh, although it is the most sustainable form of motion image distribution. And Speaking of other hot trends, uh, you may remember a few years ago I talked about wireless television being a trend. Well, now there is FAST as a trend. FAST stands for Free Advertiser Supported Television. Uh, what a concept. And CNN Plus um, was shut down only a few weeks after it started, so that was an even faster shutdown than uh, Quibi. And here's an interesting issue. Um, Hungary wants to do legal um, denial of service attacks to combat piracy. Hmm, kind of scary. And some things don't seem to take much time. ChatGPT hit a million users in five days, and it hit a hundred million users in um, two months. So that's the fastest growing service uh, ever, I believe. Uh, but here is a regular human person who beat a machine uh, playing Go. So uh, human victory over artificial intelligence. And here's a story on the BBC replacing its robotic news studio cameras because they were having lots of problems with them. This is not an AI issue, but just something else about our 
potential robotic overlords. And uh, here's a video game, Overwatch 2, and it'll run it up to 600 frames per second. But can what you're watching handle 600 frames per second? And Japan's um, NICT has set a data transmission record of uh, one petabit per second over fiber, and that's equivalent, they say, to broadcasting 10 million channels of 8K per second as soon as we get all of that stuff coming to our homes. Another development this year, uh, event cameras. They actually existed previously, but um, they now have this name. And an event camera is different from regular video cameras in that um, the pixels only change when something changes on the scene. So kind of interesting. And here is something Delta introduced initially at Detroit Airport. Uh, they call it parallel reality. And if you sign in and say that you want this, then you can look at the sign and up to a hundred different people can look at the sign and each gets a personalized message simultaneously. And the passengers are tracked as objects as they move around the terminal. Uh, Elon Musk says that brain implants are uh, going to be ready in about six months. Anyone want to volunteer for that? And NVIDIA has uh, GeForce for cars, and I think this was an unfortunate picture showing the driver using it. And uh, finally, we have this, which is um, TV sets for dollhouses, and you can change channels on them. You can even use a remote control if you want to. Um, so this is available to you now. And again, a PDF of these slides is available at bit.ly slash tr23 hyphen year.